In this video, we are going to take a look at how to place base plates, how to place connections, typically web angles in this particular example, and anchor bolts. So let's start with the base plates. Base plate command is under the ProSteel uh, tasks, under the W row fourth icon from the start, from the left. You click on this, click on a column, brings a base plate. Now this base plate I can change values, change whatever. If I don't like the welding being used, the thickness of the weld, the hole diameters, hole distances, all of this is controlled. The size of the plate, thickness of the plate, shortening the column under the plate, etc. All of this is controlled in the dialog box. Once you're set up properly, you can simply clone it by using the clone button, which allows you to automatically assign it to any other column. So I'll just select all the other columns and that plate is automatically created. Now, I know that these two I need to modify, so to modify a plate connection, you click on the plate, you go to Change Connection, not to the Properties, but Change Connection, so it brings back the Connection dialog box, where I now can go and change this assignment to be Area 1. It's the only thing I need to change, otherwise it's exactly the same plate. And I'll do the same on the other side. Change Connection, and I just need to change this back to Area 1. So that takes care of the placement of the plates. Now, another connection that we can look at here is going to be the angle connection. So we're going to put the web angle connection on all of these elements here. Now, in order to do that, we're going to call the command, and we're going to pick the element to be supported, and then the element that supports it, in this case, this column. Now, this is right now a three bolt connection, it's not the right connection. I could go in and change the number of bolts, quantity, tip, type of bolt, uh, spacing between the bolts, uh, what element to be used, and so on, all of these, but I actually, I actually have already a template. And this is the column web connection, so I'll just double click on that, and you can see my connection automatically adjusted to four bolts on each side. Now I want to copy that connection to this other side. I can either clone it, or if you simply close it and recreate it, you get the last connection you did to be repeated again. So if there's just one to be done, both ways work fine. Otherwise, you'll have to do it manually every time. The clone is a lot nicer, and that's what I'm going to use for the next one. So now I'm going to create another connection between this beam and that column. So now the connection is not going to use the same thing because we're going to tell it that here we want bolts on both sides. If you notice right now, the connection only has bolts on the column, not on the beam. So I'm going to load a template that has bolts on beam and on column. And now I'm going to tell it to clone that. And in this case, I am going to clone it to more than one place. I'm going to tell it to clone it between these two and these and I accept. And automatically I got the connections everywhere. All right. Now I need to connect the other direction here for the secondary beam. So this beam connects onto this. I get the connection. I can go to my templates and I have a three bolt connection. That's the one I want to use here. Perfect. Now I can clone it and I will clone it between this beam and that beam. Very well. Lastly, I'll do these six onto the three supporting beams. So again, clip angle connection, this beam onto this beam. I get the connection. I'm going to load a template that has only two bolts. So everything is automatically reset. And then I'm going to clone it. And in this case, I'm going to need to clone it three times. Once to these two on this side, another time on these three on this side and one last time on these three and in this case because they don't have the connection on e either end I can pick actually both sides and I accept and I get all the connections. Now notice the middle connection automatically detected that it's a back-to-back -back connection, one single bolt for both connections. All right. Now, last thing to look at in this 
exercise is to look at the placement of the anchor bolts. So to place the anchor bolts, we're going to go to one plate and we're going to select the anchor bolt command, which is under Pro Structures Tasks, W. Select the anchor bolt tool. This brings a dialog box. Now, in my case, I don't want to put anything else than the actual anchor bolt and the nuts on top. So I select here from my North American database. It's automatically detecting the right diameter that it needs to use according to the diameter I'm telling it that I want to use. All right. So everything is set properly. I'll just let it apply the, the, that, those values into this plate. I just need to rotate my ACS to point downward and I get my anchor bolts. What I can do next is simply apply it to all the other plates. So I'll just zoom out and go into each plate and repeat the same thing. So anchor bolt, pick the plate, pick the orientation, done. I could create a template if I want. I'm just going to manually create that same anchor bolt to each plate. Just make sure I point downward and the base plate will receive its anchor bolts. And this pretty much takes care of this little video.